Hi everybody, I'm Jen with OpenSource.com and I have a brand new top five articles of the week for you for May 13th. At number five, aspiring sysadmin works his way up in Linux. After years in sales and account management, my new My Linux Story contributor Renee Raggle tells us about working his way up towards a career as a Linux sysadmin. At number four, what is an open source program office and why do you need one? John Mark Walker, the director of open source products at EMC, explores six common traits of successful open source programs and takes a look at how the open source program office has evolved. At number three, 2016 open source jobs report, developers, DevOps, and certifications wanted. The Linux Foundation and Dice.com has partnered to survey almost 5,000 open source professionals and recently unveiled the 2016 Open Source Jobs Report. Ricky Inslee takes a look and explains that the report tells us the job market is hot for developers, DevOps, and open source professionals with certifications. At number two, managing passwords in Linux with KeyPassX. Ricardo Fridman, a Linux specialist at IBM, tells us about his favorite password manager, KeePassX. It remembers hundreds of passwords across various applications and generates strong, secure passwords when you need them. And finally, at number one, pit mesh routers are owned by individuals. To read a paragraph straight from the article for you that sums this piece up very well, Pitmush is a new community-owned wireless network that runs OpenWRT, a widely supported, well-documented open source firmware for embedded systems like Wi-Fi routers. Pitmush routers are owned by individuals and configured in a way that makes them work together to build a larger decentralized network. The project was started by a wireless networking nonprofit called MetaMesh and has been developed by a worldwide coalition of programmers for well over a decade. Very interesting article, great set of articles for the top five this week. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next Friday.